it's me again i have not been here in a long time just because i had schools because i go to multiple schools because i have finals i have school i have i did have work i had some couple issues here and there like every day um pretty much done with school i just need to do like one more assignment which i don't know if i want to do it i think i'm gonna do it just to get like the extra five points um let's get started because it's some good ass cheese in it so it all started in the weekend of thanksgiving and before i start y'all gonna know where i'm heading but for the people out there who are doing it please use protection use it it's out there you can use condoms you can use whatever use it let me tell you a little background before getting into that world I was afraid of doing it to be honest because I heard so many things that it, it hurts you bleed and well for girls for girls obviously um point is I had a couple friends that were like oh if you do it raw it is a lot better first time protection was my hubby nope because I didn't well I don't know I I don't know what he thought but we kind of talked about it and we were like you know if we're gonna stay like together forever let's just not use protection like what's the point if we're gonna be married and have kids and have a whole future you know that's what we thought about and I was like duh that totally makes sense like if I'm gonna use protection with him it's because I'm not gonna last with him That's what I thought that what he was thinking. I mean, I don't know. I did not use protection. I'm Catholic and Diosito told me, well, I mean, not that Catholic, you know, cause you supposed you're supposed to get married and then do it. Okay, whatever. You know, we out here not really following the rules. Anyway, let's not get into that. I did not use protection. Even what happened in August. Was it in August? Yes. People were like, did you learn your lesson? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> because of what happened recently. So. Yes. I'm just saying. I know I look ratchet as fudge. <laughs> YouTube. Oh my gosh. Duh. Um, I know I look ratchet. I I'm, I'm gonna get ready, you know. I'm gonna put my glasses. I'm gonna brush my hair, whatever. I'm just saying, please use protection all the time. I don't care if with the partner you're with, you can be with them forever, hasta que se muera, whatever. Just use it. I I swear, I should have listened. For real. Okay. So, basically, me and my hubby did it, what was it? I think we did it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, we did it those four days because I remember he said that we, we did it so many times. Um, we out here wilding, whatever. Okay, no. Um, so then, yeah, so we did it those four times. I mean, four days many times um and then we kind of we stopped monday when why did we stop i don't know why we stopped we were gonna keep <laughs> we were gonna keep like the streak like you know like we're gonna keep going like continue yeah no we just stopped um i don't remember why um so then i think monday night i started feeling some pain 
and then Tuesday it's when like I started feeling a lot more pain to the point where like I couldn't stand up because it hurt I couldn't lay down because it would hurt I couldn't even walk because it would hurt but it would hurt I mean it would hurt down here down where I pee and usually for girls oh sorry guys also guys I'll be talking about like lady stuff so if you don't want to hear it you could leave now um so where was I so yeah you know like when you do it and then you have to pee right after and like you have like that burning sensation yeah I had that mind you Monday we didn't do it and that hurt it hurt like it it was burning when i pee to the point where i started crying the pain was oh it i just like talking about it i cannot it it was no worst feeling ever so i'm like what the heck like what is going on so then I posted on my uh, private Snapchat for like my ladies friends and um, because I have like nursing friends and I have adults in there like you know my aunt or, like you know things like that people that I really trust and um, they're like yeah if it burns and you're feeling other like symptoms you probably have a UTI, which I was like, yeah, probably, because I searched it up in Google, and there were, like, other things that I, like, could have have, could have had, I, I don't know how to use my English, um, but, like, there were other, like, infections and diseases, and I was just like, no, please don't, no, just don't, so then, um, yeah, they're like, you probably have a UTI, which is a urinary tract infection, I'm gonna have like vocabs here, so if you don't know, just search it up on Google. Anyway, so many people were telling me that, and then I was like, yeah, that could be true. And then they're like having suggestions, you know, get a pill, get this kind of pill, like it will help you, like the pain will go away, or drink cranberry juice, ice it. If it gets worse, go to the hospital. So the only thing I did is I only iced it, I think. And it got in warm water. <laughs> um, yeah. Because I was like, you know what? It's just a UTI. I'm going to just go get the pill as soon as I can. Well, Wednesday comes. The pain is just getting worse. And I'm like, what the heck? So I kind of like inspect myself. And I go to the bathroom. And I check myself out. And I'm like, whoa. So I find these like little like little bolitas. Like se veían como se veían como unas pimples, como unos granos on my labia menorah. So like on both lips. Not just one. But on both. And I was like I never seen that before, and then I also noticed that like one of my lips on the labia minora was like puffier and bigger than the other one. I'm like, <laughs> what the frick? So it was like, and then I checked myself even more, and then oh shoot, what is that part called? I think it's perineum. I don't know. It's where like it's where like your vagina. Your vagina is like right here, and then you have like your anus, and it's like that little path. Um, yeah, that little path part kind of thing was like teared apart. I couldn't even touch it. Like if I went near it, it, it hurt a lot. It's like, I feel like espinas around there, all over there, all over that bottom part where I pee and where I poop. So, 
at this point, I was just avoiding to go to the bathroom because I did not want to feel that pain. Nah, -uh. it hurt a lot. Like I cried every time I peed and poop, and I was like, no, I don't want this anymore. And then I also found a little pimple, like on my butt cheek, and I was like, that has never been there before. So then I tell my friends, I'm like, yo, I just found this out. And they're like, girl, you gotta go to the fucking hospital. Ooh. They're like, girl, you gotta go to the hospital. And I was just like, yeah, I think I should because I've never seen this before. And I was just like, and one of my friends were like, worst case is that you just have a UTI. But I mean, at least you're getting checked. And I was like, true, true. So then I was just like, well, who's going to take me to the doctor now? I have, like, literally no one over here back home. Because I couldn't ask my friends because we're in a pandemic. I know. I get it. But if I was in Springfield and I tell my friends, they'd be like, we're going to the hospital. Let's go now. And I just couldn't tell anyone here. So I was just like, great. And then I asked, like, a few family members. Um, it was pretty late night, too. And, well, obviously they were going to be sleeping because why would they be awake unless they're working? But, so they didn't answer. And I was just like, oh, I just need, like, an answer right now. So, like, I mean, I thought about asking my hubby to take me to the hospital. But I think he said he was going to do something the next day Thursday so that's why I didn't ask him so at that point I was ha I didn't have no answers no one was gonna like no one answered me I didn't ask my friends I I felt lonely I felt depressed because no way was I gonna tell my parents heck no after what happened in August no and i couldn't tell my mom because you know like she snitched on me and she was gonna do it again so i was like i cannot trust her so then yeah i just i felt lonely to the point where i was just getting mad at my hubby because i was like i'm like i can't ya no puedo ya no podía aguantar el pain like ya no ya no quería like i just wanted to get checked out and like have the doctors tell me what it what was going on with me you know but you know ooh, i think i'm hungry so then oh my gosh i have so much hair um if you hear my stomach growling, um, I'm pretty hungry. Anyway. So then, yeah, I just felt really, really lonely. I was just crying the whole time. Cause, crying because I felt lonely. Crying because I felt like I, ya no podía aguantar el pain. Crying because I couldn't tell my parents what was going on with me. Because they would get angry again crying because I felt like my hubby couldn't help me which is not a good thing um <laughs> crying because I just really wanted to go to the doctor and get checked out and I couldn't get it right away so then I was like well there goes another sleepless night because I couldn't the pain and like clothes did like start um, bothering me so like I I couldn't wear anything down there like I couldn't wear I can't even wear underwear because it was like irritating it more so but I mean I still slept with underwear because I I have my little brother um, sleeping next to me and I was just like gotta go through the pain you know um, so yeah, so, 
I was another sleepless night and then I thought, you know what? My hubby's gonna come tomorrow and I'll just tell him to take me to the hospital. I am really hungry. So then Thursday comes and then, you know, he comes and we just like hang out. And then, um, was it Thursday or was it Friday? I think it was Thursday when he took me. But I don't remember. <laughs> um, it was Thursday or Friday. He, point is, he took me. And he couldn't stay inside with me, like, being in the room with me because only the patient is supposed to go to the, like, hospital and everything. So then he just, like, waits outside and everything. He's, like, text me if anything, like, I'll be waiting out here in the parking lot. And I was like, yeah, sure. So then I go in and they're like, so what's going on? And I'm like, well, this has been happening for like four days. Um, I I just can't stand this pain anymore. Please help me, basically. And then they're like, okay, so you're just going to go into this room and then the doctor will be with you in a couple minutes. And I was like, okay, sure. And I'm like, okay, waiting for the host or waiting for the doctor and everything. I'm in the bed. I'm like, I want this pain to go away. Like, or oh, you guys did not see that. So I'm literally on the bed, on like the hospital bed, and I'm like, like I I didn't have like I just wanted to know what was going on with me and leave and like obviously get treatment and whatever and then leave. So the doctor comes in. That's a dude. So I was like, mm. I did not feel comfortable. But at, at this point, I was like, you know what? F it. He knows a lot more than I do. If he's going to check me down there, just do it now because I need to know what is going on with me. And then they're like, okay, we're going to do a pelvic exam. I think they even did on you. And you're going to have to pee in this cup. So I peed in the cup and then, oh my god, the pelvic exam. I've done it before, but like uh, like with the actual doctor. Because this one was like a PA, I think they said. So it's like, I think it's like a student. I, I don't know. I don't know. The point is, he knows a lot more than I do. He He's majoring in nursing, doctor, whatever he is. So then, that pelvic exam, oh, and with the pain that I'm feeling down there, oh, that was horrible. That was so painful. I remember in my first pelvic exam, they used a lot of lube so it could just go in smoothly. This time, they did not use any lube I'm here not feeling satisfied, so I'm dry, <laughs> and they just stick it right in there, and I'm like, mm. I think I let like two tears out, and I was like holding on to bed real like real tight, and I was like, get this thing out. He's like, he's like, oh, you're just gonna feel a little pressure. I'm like, yeah, I know, like I know how it feels, but then when I noticed that he didn't put loop, I was like. Oh, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. And then it just went in, and I'm like, oh! And I was like, I need a stress ball or something because, no, because I was gonna pop that stress ball. That, eso me dolió. Like, pressure ni que nada. That, no. <laughs> yeah, no. So then, after that, um, they're like, okay, we're just going to check this out. Ooh, these glasses are not good looking. So then, so then I'm just waiting in there with the rope that they, the, the hospital gives you. With the freaking pain that they left me with. Even more pain that I have. So I'm just waiting for the results. And this is why I'm telling you guys, use a freaking condom. 
they found out three things that I had. Hmm. First, I did have a UTI and I got pills for that. And then second, I had a BB, which is Some bacteria in your vagina, which is like another infection. And I was like, mm, well, that's great. I did get pills for that too. And then the worst one comes out of his mouth, and I'm like, hold up, what the freak did you just say to me? Next thing I know, he's like, you have herpes. He's like, are you sure you haven't been with like anyone else other than your partner? And I'm like, I'm so sure you could freaking ask my roommates or my sweet mates. Like they know everything. Like I was like, on la virgen, on Diosito, on my loved ones. Rest in peace. I did not link hooked i did not do anything no what the guy is over there in college no <laughs> so they're like okay well yeah you you have that and i was like great as soon as they leave because they're like oh like Ya, like, ya te chicamos, te vamos a dar unas pastillas antes de que te vayas. Pero ya, like, we're gonna do some paperwork, te lo vamos a dar y ya te puedes ir. And I was like, okay. So then I'm just waiting for the paperwork and las pastillas que me iban a dar. Right cuando se fueron, se salieron de mi cuarto. I text my hubby, I was like, did you cheat on me? He's like, whoa, 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 why are you asking this? Where is this coming from? Like, no, I did not. And I'm like, hubby, like, I swear, like, I just want you to tell me the truth right now. Like, you cheated on me? Just tell me right now. Like, it's it's okay. Tell me the truth right now. And then he's like, no, I didn't cheat on you. And I'm like, so you didn't do it with anyone else? He's like, no. And then I was just like, hmm. he's like, why are you asking this? I'm like, I have herpes. And then he's like, Oh. And then he's like, Are you almost done? I'm like, Yeah, they're just gonna give me some pastillas and the paperwork, and then I leave. He's like, Okay, I'll be waiting for you by the entrance. And I was like, Okay. Yeah, me tomo las pastillas. I actually drank pills. They were like tiny. Oh, but the ones that they gave me right now, they're, they're not tiny. I have, they taste disgusting. Anyway. So I get out and he's like, let me ask you this. Did you cheat on me? I'm like, they literally just asked me that right now? No, I did not. Te lo juro, I did not cheat on you. So then we're just both like, awkward, like, who did what and speak up right now he said he didn't I swear to I swear I did not do that um and then I was just like yeah we had to go get some pastillas so he takes me to the pharmacy we get my pastillas and then I immediately, I was like, I have to tell my dad this. So then I call my aunt and I'm like, yeah, this happened. And then she went crazy, obviously. She did put an example on me on like how she felt. So I like, understood how she felt. And I was like, oh yeah, now I know what you feel. Good example though now I think about that so then um she's like 
No. I don't approve this relationship. Tell him goodbye and leave for your good, for your safety, for everything. And I was like, mm. I, just, I gotta think about this. Like, at first, I was like, I believe my hubby more than other people because I did search up on Google and it said that um, you could have herpes with no symptoms. And I was like, you know, maybe he had them and then he didn't have any symptoms. We did it. I got them. Oh, and because, but then they were like, but you should have gotten like a long time ago. And I was just like, well, yeah, but they're like, como se dice? Like, I guess they're like more effective or like selling masks on certain times, dates or whatever. And that, like, I, I believed Google. And I was hoping my nursing friends would say the same thing. I don't think they did. And I was just like, well, I still believe Google. Blinded by love right here. So then, so yeah, so I called my aunt. I'm like, yeah, I want to tell my dad. Can you come to calm and calm him down? He's like, she's like, of course. So my dad, I tell my dad. I, because what happened on Thursday, or Thursday, what happened on August, I thought he was going to get mad, like, crazy mad. But this time, he had, like, a different reaction. He was, I guess he learned from the past argument. Like, we need to talk con más calma en vez de, like, regañando and, like, yelling at each other and everything. So he's like, we had like a calm conversation that I didn't really need my tia, but I mean, I still needed her for like emotional support and everything. Like I really trust her and everything. So then my tia and my dad and I, we just had a whole talk. And they both said something to me that I've been thinking since they told me. <laughs> but my dad did tell me, if you're gonna stay with your man, you're gonna have to go to your mom's house. You're moving out. And I was just like, Oh gosh. And then my tia was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Primo, because they're cousins. She's like, I think you're going a little too far. And I don't know if I told you guys this before. Me and my mom just don't get along very well. So then my dad was like, no, I'm serious. If you're staying with that dude, Pack your bags and leave. And then I was just like, okay. So then my tia was like, huh? She was confused. She was like, whoa, wait. Yeah, I think this straight, mija. Like, she was like, you, me, you were gonna go to your mom's house. just to stay with this dude and I was like yeah and she's like you are gonna allow to have suicidal thoughts again with your mom to stay with this dude and I said yeah and then she's like <laughs> hold up hold up hold up let me ask you this clearly you're risking your life to be with this dude. Cause when my when I'm with my mom, 
I just get suicidal thoughts. That's why she said that to me. And that's why my dad had to take me out. Out of my mom's house. Anyway. So I said. Yeah. And then she's like. What does this dude have that he's like. Te tiene así. And now she's like. At that point I don't like. I don't want to say. I just want to answer yes and no. And like a few short answers. Because if I start explaining myself i start crying and i don't cry in front of people my cheese no here um issue but yeah so i just didn't want to like explain to them even though i had like all the answers in my head and then so she those questions are stuck in my head and then my dad was like i can't believe it and then i was like what my idea and i were like what and then he's like he's like i took you out of your mom's house because you were having suicidal thoughts because you were going to kill yourself you had a plan i bring you here and you're still killing yourself slowly though and i was like me and my tia were like confused. We're like, what do you mean? And he's like, you're just damaging yourself and hurting yourself every time, every day with this dude. Or because you don't listen. You are so stubborn and everyone's telling you what to do and you don't want to do it. I was like oh man did not think about that at all but at the same time he was right because of arguments that I've had with hubby and like the emotional pain he has caused me and things like that that's all what I was thinking about So then I was like, oh man. And then I call my mom the next day. And then I call my mom the next day. And she kind of sounded like she was expecting this. Because she was like, I'm not surprised. And then I was like, She was like, I'm not surprised. Like, we have told you so many times to use protection and you didn't want to. And look what happened to you. You have a disease that has no cure. And I was like, well, I told my dad what happened. Because she's like, did you tell your dad? And I was like, yeah, I like told him like, right, like almost right away. And she's like, what, what are you saying? And I was like, well... If I want to stay with hubby, then I have to move in with you. She's like, all right, pack your bags. I'm picking you up. And I was like, I was like, these people know me so dang well that they all know that I will stay with hubby. No matter what. And then I was like, Haha, yeah, right. No, I mean, not now. I have finals. I'm not going to like that's going to interrupt me and my studies and I'm I'm trying to get good grades on these finals. So I was like no. Not yet. But after I talked to them the more I was feeling like whoa. Like they're right. Like Maybe I should break up with him. I was, I was considering it. I really was considering it. Because I had like an honest, honest 
discussion with myself like i was in the bathroom <laughs> looking myself in the mirror crying to myself having a whole conversation with myself if i'm crazy i'm crazy but i was talking to myself and i had so many reasons why i should break up with him i was like kind of yelling at myself like the some part of me was like girl leave now this is your chance do it now i hurt myself <laughs> i was disgusting with myself i i yelled at myself i i don't know if it if it was like one of my abuelita if it was someone from the ghost world talking to me i don't know and then i just didn't talk to my hubby and i was just feeling really depressed for a few days and you know i was just like focusing on my homework on my finals on my exams projects and everything i did get good grades um and then i went to talk to him tuesday i don't even remember it's like this is already next week so i went to talk to him like i went to his house like my i asked my dad i'm like yo can i use your car like even though he's mad and everything i was like i was like i just have to talk to him He's like, okay, I'm giving you one hour because he don't trust me no more. Earlier that day, I asked him to go to Walmart. I was going to go to Walmart and then go to my hubby's house. And then he's like, yeah, no, let me go with you. And I was like, dang it. So, so that's why I asked him later. I was like, can I go? Um. So I go to my hubby's house, which is in the parking lot. And me being myself, I don't really communicate. I just tell him, like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and he just starts telling me, like, oh, like, I love you. Like, I really don't want us to end. I really see a future with you. And, like, you know, lovey-dovey things. And then I was like, okay. Yeah, yes, I'm going to end the hour. So I was like, okay. Before, like, it was like probably 10 minutes or 5 minutes before the hour. 10 minutes or 5 minutes before the hour se termine. So I was like, you know, this is how I feel. Honestly, I don't know how I feel. I, I'm in the middle, literally in the middle. Where either, like, I want to break up with you. But, like, I don't. Like, there's so many issues. So many reasons. For me to break up with you. But I haven't. Something is telling me don't. And I guess he got, like, the wrong idea. He's like, before you keep going I just want to tell you like I'm always going to love you and I'm going to support you um, even if we're not together and then he brings out a present that I gave him and he sets it on my lap he's like I guess I don't deserve this and he left The moment he leaves, I start bawling. I so many tears just came out of me. I'm like, what the heck just happened? I did not tell him that I was breaking up with him. When the heck did I tell him that? But I was just like, oh my gosh, like I cannot drive like right now because I I can't drive when I'm emotional or I was like I'm a crash or something. So then I just like stay there. I call my cousin and I'm like, this just happened. 
And then she's like, well, what? I'm like, yeah. Like, I think he got, like, the wrong idea. And he just left. And then she's like, like, I'm still crying. She's like, okay, well, like, calm down. Like, I'm at work right now. And, like, we'll talk after and things like that. But she's like, explain what happened. Like, explain to me everything that led up to that moment. And I was like, well, this and this. And I'm explain as I'm explaining it to her, Hubby comes out again, but with his dog, Toby. And he's like walking his dog. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, yo, he's coming again. Like, he's back. And she's like, She's like, call me right after or text me right after what happens. And I was like, okay, I will. So he gets in the car again. You know, he sits Toby on my lap. And Toby's like scared, crying because Hubby's just there letting all his emotions go out. And Toby's just crying. I felt his pain. I was like, Toby, no, no, no. This is, we're not gonna end like that, no. So after some like, quietness, silence, I grab his hand, cause he's in the passenger seat. I grab Hubby's hand I give him his present, and I'm like, no, we're not ending. And he's just like confused, like, him being insecure, asking why, why do I want to be with him? Well, I tell him all these things. Yes, I have all these issues, reasons to leave him, but there's this love, and that love is a lot stronger than these issues, and it's deeper, and it's real, and that's why I want to stay with him. That's what I truly feel. So then, I guess we get back together. I don't know if we broke off for like a few minutes and we got back. I, I don't know what happened. Um, and then we just like start vibing again. We start laughing, making jokes. He said he's gonna go get tested. But I swear to y'all. If that test of herpes comes out negative, why no one tell me I had them the whole time then? I've gone to the doctor so many times this year alone, not for COVID, no, for other reasons. I peed so many times in those cups no one has told me that I have herpes or any other kind of disease. Why now? Like, I swear, like, I've been thinking about that the whole time. We'll find out. Um. So that was the whole cheese, man. Big cheese, man. So, if anyone was shoot trying to shoot their shot with me, <laughs> you want to get herpes? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm right here. No, I'm kidding. Um, Y'all going to be like, yeah, goodbye. Not trying to shoot my shot. Yeah, I'm a boy. Peace out. Good, because I'm um, still going to stay with my hubby. So, as long as, as far as I know, I'm still staying with him. So. I don't need y'all. Y'all can leave freely. 
goodbye um but yeah that was the cheese man it's it's really big that's a big ass cheese man oh that's a big cheese man that's that's just some real deep y'all gonna be like what but yeah I hope y'all have a nice day and I will see you guys by otro día. Bye.